For 30 days straight, I tracked every piece of food that went into my body. Regardless if it was something I wanted to know the calorie count on, it was all tracked and monitored. If y'all have been on the channel for a while now, you know that this used to be a common theme for me. I would track religiously in my fitness pal for nearly four years, but then when I made the move across the country, I decided to give it a little bit of a break, and I am sure glad that I did. It felt extremely good to be less meticulous with my eating, but I felt like I was losing the discipline that I had worked so hard to establish, so I decided to take the last 30 days to go back to my roots and to my surprise I experienced more physical and mental benef benefits than I ever thought I would there is nothing more terrifying than watching car after car after car drive by and you look inside and the person driving is just looking at their phone not paying any attention as to what the heck is going on do not be that person it is not worth it Public service announcement over. One of the things I've been trying to do ever since I've been tracking my macros a little bit closer is play around with the number of carbs I eat before my workout, seeing if it makes any difference. I might even trying, I might even start trying some intro workout carbs in the future. Just kind of trial and error, you know, experimenting with my body. Cold brew with a little bit of almond milk. The weird thing about cold brew is sometimes you get really stemmed out and sometimes you just don't feel much at all. It's kind of inconsistent, I think, the way that it's made, but regardless, it is delicious. Taking 30 days off of caffeine, that would be a very, very interesting video. I don't know that I can actually do it, but if I could, we'll see, we'll see, maybe a week. But uh, anyway, you guys will probably be able to tell in the gym footage, I'm shrinking a little bit, man. I'm getting skinny, at least that's what I am being told by some of my coworkers. I'm down about four pounds. I was at 185 before I did this whole macro counting thing. Now I'm at 181. I feel good. I feel like this is a weight that I could sustain pretty easily, but you guys can let me know in the comments down below. So if you're eating at home, making all of your own food, tracking macros is, is pretty simple, right? Because you can count every ingredient that you put inside of your body. But if you're going out to a restaurant, you really don't know. And even if you think you know, you really don't know. Like Chipotle, for example, I'm convinced the reason that so many people like that restaurant is because they are fooled into thinking it's much more macro friendly than it is because the website says the rice is 40 grams of carbs. They put on four scoops of rice. They convince themselves that it's still 40 carbs. That is besides the point. Topic for another video. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that one of my favorite restaurants is called Cilantro and I go here at least three times a week, but it's a, it's at a local Austin restaurant, so the nutritional facts are not available. So I use a very complex system to track these macros called common sense. And what I do is I try to find foods as close as possible, like soy glazed chicken, kimchi, cucumbers, things like that. And then I will make some manual adjustments based off of what I think they use to cook some of this stuff. You're always going to want to add fats when you're eating out. They cook things in oil, things that usually don't get accounted for. I add some extra carbs and then I just get close enough. I am consistently inconsistent. I track it the same every time that I come here. You don't have to get perfect. The whole point here is just being conscious of what is going into your body. So I know that this might not work for everyone, but the key for me when it comes to tracking macros is being consistent with my diet and just sticking to the same foods. There are weeks where I will eat the same thing every single day. And every day, the whole month, I ate one pea science select protein bar. It's a treat, it tastes delicious. I look forward to it every single time. There's 20 grams of protein in this guy, and it's just so convenient. There's no reason why I couldn't eat this. And best yet, you can save 15% using Travis at pscience.com. You guys know I swear by these things and I will probably eat one. Till the day I die. Just look at this beautiful, beautiful creation.
So the goal of this experiment was not to lose a bunch of weight, although I did end up losing about four pounds in a month, which is a pretty considerable amount given the body fat that I'm at today, which wasn't really that high to begin with. The whole purpose of this was to get back into better eating habits because what was happening is I was just eating and eating for no real reason. I wasn't hungry, just something sounded good, especially at night. I would probably intake like a thousand calories right before I went to bed. And that was just a habit that I was trying to break. Now I do find tracking to be a little bit annoying at times, which is why I haven't done it in such a long time, at least consistently. But in all reality, it only takes like three to four minutes per day. So it's not that big of a deal. I think it's more of just the thought that really scares people away from it. And knowing that I had a specific core goal I was trying to adhere to, which was about 25 to 2600 calories, the macro breakdown ended up being about 220 protein, 200 carbs and 80 fat. I noticed that I appreciated the food more and I ultimately ended up looking better just by losing those four pounds. I can tell that I dried up a lot. My muscles looked to be a little bit fuller. I was making better food choices. So from a physique perspective, I really saw a lot of benefits even with some of those outrageous cheat days that you guys have watched over the last month. But the most important benefit of tracking your macros or your food is just being conscious of what is going in your body. Something that so many people never get the chance to experience. We all know that person that has no idea about any nutritional information. They go to Starbucks, they get a 400 calorie drink, they have no idea, and then they wonder why they're not losing weight. Now, when I think of the purpose of tracking macros, now I think it's something that everyone should do at some point, especially when you're first starting out on your fitness journey. I think it's very important. So that way you actually know the nutritional value of certain foods. And then once you do that, it's one of those things that just never leaves you. It's always going to be in the back of your mind, even if it's subconscious. But that's something that I did for a few years. And I just wanted to take a little bit of break. And I'm very, very glad that I did because I saw a lot of physical and mental benefits from doing so because I feel like the purpose of tracking your macros at some point is so you don't have to do it forever. Now, I do think it's a good idea to do something like I just did. And maybe if you got away from it for a year or so for an extended amount of time, go back and realign your diet, see where you're at today, see where your caloric intake is and see how you're feeling. And you can kind of just repeat that process. And I think if you do that, you're going to be in a really good position. Now, the one precaution that I have for you when it comes to tracking macros is that I see it taken way too far all too often. Like if you need to write a seven page paper or take out your abacus and do some crazy calculation all to try to figure out the macronutrients of your food, it is just not that serious, my friends. Again, going back to the main benefit, just becoming conscious of what is going in your body, even if it's not 100% accurate, in my opinion, that is beyond the point unless you are contest prepping or really strict for some photo shoot or something like that. That's another story. But for people like you and people like me, it's probably okay to just get inside the ballpark, you know? And if you're stressing out about going out somewhere where you don't know exactly what's in the food, you might want to relook at some other things because you probably just don't have the healthiest relationship with your food. And that's, again, another issue. So takeaway points here, not that serious. Get close enough. Enjoy your life, my friends. <laughs> So it's always nice when they leave things in the package lockers like they should. The problem is, is those things get filled up and then they start leaving things outside your front door and that just, that just results in some problems. Nice, the homies Zach and Steve hooked it up with some more of this cinnamon roll cookie butter, my favorite flavor. Appreciate it, fellas. I love adding this to oatmeal and also making sludge to add to rice cakes and waffles. Delicious. We have a beautiful dinner tonight, my friends. So here's the trick to turn Brussels sprouts into candy, Himalayan salt, garlic, and pepper. They are so delicious. And then I've got two turkey burgers, about 200 grams of sweet potato topped with some of this cookie butter. I'm watching Fight Club and I'm finally using this iPad. I won from that sales contest, if you guys remember. This thing is pretty awesome. I don't know why I don't use this more often. I've never seen this movie, but I'm actually watching it for a video that I'm going to record tomorrow. This is the kind of thing that shows you eating good food, it doesn't have to suck. 
There is nothing better than just a peaceful walk on a Saturday night. Nobody is around. The riffraff is all, you know, down there in the, in the center of the domain with all the bars and stuff like that. It's just nice. And I wish I could say it was like this all the time, but there's been a few nights lately where there's just some crazy stuff going on. And you would think, you know, this is a nice neighborhood. It's expensive to live here. You don't have to worry about it. But man, the cops are coming. There's people yelling and fighting. And I'm like, what is this? And now they're sending out these emails like, don't walk alone and all this. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, one more thing to worry about. It just goes to show it doesn't matter where you live. Crime and all of those issues happen wherever you are at. And actually, the reason you guys have not seen me eat puff wheat cereal lately is because my Amazon package that didn't get delivered to the lockers because they were full, they went to my front door and someone stole my puff wheat and AAA batteries. I'm like, come on, man. And after that happened, I was like, you know what? I am going to get one of those ring devices. I'm sure everyone has seen those, the doorbell and security cameras. That way people think twice before they jack your stuff. But I'm getting ready to move, so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna wait. And coincidentally, two weeks later, I got an email from the sponsor of today's video, which is the Neighbors app. They're the people that are behind the ring device. And I was like, this is awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys on the screen what this app is all about. It is essentially the new way of the neighborhood watch and I love this idea. And what I really like about this app is that it connects you with your neighbors so you are aware of what's going on in your surroundings because we should all be able to feel safe where we live, you know? So if there's any safety concerns, you can share that information, break-ins and anything else. Also, if there's a lost pet, which I know happens all too often, you can get on there and exchange information as far as if someone found it or if someone gets your package, they can return it to you. All of these great features and benefits. And it's cool because it allows the community to come together to keep everything safer. And you might be some tough guy that thinks that's lame, but I know I'm pretty passionate about this because I work in the safety industry, if you guys didn't know. But I think it's just one of those things that gives you a peace of mind. And I, I think it's an awesome concept. So you guys can go to ring.com slash Travis, download the Neighbors app, check it out. I think it's very, very value added. Again, that is ring.com slash Travis, so be sure to go check it out. Oh, and by the way, if you're that loser that stole my puff wheat cereal and AAA batteries, I will find your ass, my friend. Man, I bet they were so disappointed when they got in that box and they looked down there like, what is this? It's like that time in college when someone stole one of my textbooks from my front porch. I'm just like, you know, that's the thing. 95% of the time you steal something, it's gonna be worthless to you. So I just have no sympathy for thieves. So here we have five whole eggs and these are mighty fine looking eggs if I do say so myself. The pasture raised are just so much better. Still watching Fight Club, it's pretty good. It's a little weird, but I think I can get through it. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, boys. I don't even remember a life before the poverty brownie. Totals for the day, 2,595 calories. I do tend to intake a little bit more food on the weekend especially on Sunday, as you guys know. 233 grams of protein, 242 carbs, 80 grams of fat, 55 grams of fiber. All around feeling great. Let me know what y'all thought of this video. Hopefully it helps some of you guys out. I thought it was a neat little experiment. I'm still gonna try to track my macros at least three to four times a week. We will see how that goes. I don't wanna get too fat for the summer. You know, we gotta, gotta get pool ready and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could've been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate that and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.